Hello everybody, Shaderade here with another video for you. Uh, today we are going to be covering uh, installing a graphics card um, with your Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 3 2400-2200G um, and how to get like your display drivers installed and all that kind of good stuff correctly uh, because again I've had nothing but issues with it um, just like everything with these new chips from AMD but I do love my chip it just you gotta figure out the issues you gotta fucking s deal with a whole bunch of issues if you're gonna use these chips so I'm here to try to help um, as honest as I can be this is the third time that I am recording this video because I keep fucking up and keep either cutting the video out halfway through or not realizing that it's not recording to the right spot um, and before I was apparently trying to record at 60 frames per second at 1080p and that was just eating up a lot of processing power out of my CPU so everything else was running super slow so real quick I'm going to pack up a bowl while I'm doing this video with you and I'm gonna get stoned so let's go over what you need to do first and foremost so let's say you have your Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 3 in here and your you got your graphics card in today and you're all super excited uh, so let's get that bitch installed first thing you're going to want to do is uninstall the current graphics drivers and shit like that that you have installed for the integrated graphics so if you watch my old video um, the Ryzen 5 2400G help is here install guide um, it covers how to do this really well and I'll just go over it super quick as best I can um, I can't go over all of it except to restart my computer and I can't do it while I'm recording with OBS Studio otherwise it'll cut the video which I, I learned that the hard way so first thing go into your add remove programs click your AMD software uninstall that shit then go into your program files this PC you know local disk C and up at the top usually will be an um, an AMD program or an AMD folder sitting up here you're gonna want to pretty much delete that as well too um, that's not necessary that was from when you installed all your um, Ryzen you know, integrated graphics shit so delete that folder uninstall the program when you uninstall the program it's gonna say are you sure you want to install yes and then after it uninstalls it'll take a minute or two it'll say you must restart your computer click yes let it restart so you're gonna come back into here load up into Windows and if you haven't already done it for my previous video you're gonna want to download DDU uh, display driver uninstaller it's a free program just google it download it um, extract it run it it'll do another extraction and then actually put like the, the you know the application that you're gonna use or the program that you're gonna use into whatever folder you extract it from and so from there we're gonna restart our computer into safe mode once you have DDU installed and I can't exactly show you all of that because again it requires a restart but you type in safe go into your change advanced startup options in Windows advanced startup click restart now and I cover exactly how to do this in my other video if you're not familiar with it go watch my other video real quick and then come back um, so you're gonna reboot into safe mode you're gonna run DDU which I can at least load up to show you this because it's a little bit different on here um, downloads hey my AMD folder downloaded into here for some reason that's strange Oh, I know why, because I have my downloads folder over here, where is where I ran it from. That's weird. Okay, so anyways, go to downloads, DDU, and you're going to open the actual application file that it extracted out of this one. So right-click, run as administrator, yes. So once you are, you're going to be in safe mode, which is telling me that it, I'm not in safe mode, so this might not work right. So you're going to reboot into safe mode, you're going to open this up, you're going to click clean and shut down and it even says in parentheses for installing a new graphics card that's what you want make sure AMD is selected over here for AMD graphics drivers to be uninstalled and click clean and shut down so that's going to clean like the Windows registry files and shit like that for display drivers and anything else that might be stuck in there and really wipe out pretty much every AMD file it can get its hands on um, so do that and shut down your computer once your computer is shut down that's the time to install your graphics card now that everything's nice and clean and ready um, so there's lots of people that cover installing a graphics card I'm not gonna do it any better justice than what they've done I don't have a good camera to do it so um, plug your graphics card into the PCI 16 slot you know at the top of the motherboard plug the power cord from your PSU into your graphics card unplug the 
the monitor port, you know, that you have plugged into your motherboard right now, which is how you've been getting display from your um, integrated graphics. Unplug your HDMI, VGA, or display uh, plug out of your motherboard and plug it into the back of the graphics card. Because now the graphics card is what's going to be feeding video out. As soon as you turn your, um, your computer back on and you have power going into your graphics card, it's going to all automatically recognize the graphics card and it's going to send all of its video output through the graphics card anyway. So having it plugged into the um, motherboard isn't going to do you any justice. You won't get any display out. So once you turn your computer back on, if you did those three steps, plug the graphics card in, give the graphics card power, and then plug the monitor into the graphics card ports, um, everything will start up and it will display to your screen, you know, just like it did with your motherboard. Um, so you'll come back into Windows. Your screen might not be set into 1080p, you know, like mine is right now. You might have to, you know, adjust your resolution, display settings, and stuff like that. But just wait because that might get fixed once you install your display drivers. Um, it'll, it should fix that for you. So if you go into your device manager, um, you're going to see two Microsoft basic display adapters probably right now. Um, one of them will have this exclamation point on it. That is the Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 3 chip that's no longer being used. Um, I usually uninstall it every time I, I'm doing something on my computer. Um, that requires, you know, the graphics processing part because some programs have issues with it. Uh, Overwatch really does not like um, that extra display driver being on there and not working properly. It kept, like, crashing, some, you know, randomly because of it. Um, so this is going to say Microsoft display, Basic Display Adapter as well, too, because you haven't is installed any drivers or told it what it is yet. So we're going to fix that right now. Um, usually what you would think to do. Now, I have, as you saw, the um, AMD... RX 570 8 gigabyte. So what I figured I would do is I would go to MSI because that's who makes my graphics card and I would look it up and I'd find the exact graphics card and I'd go to drivers and I'd pick Windows 1064 and I'd click the drivers and I'd just install the newest driver and it should work. Fuck no, it does not. It does not work whatsoever. It can't detect my driver settings or just drivers on my computer or whatever the fuck it says. It never works. Um, and none of the other ones I've tried from here work. You know, any of the newer ones, they don't work either. So I figured, okay, I'll go over to AMD, and I'll download their driver for it. So from AMD's main screen, here we go, amd.com, you go to drivers and support, scroll down, find the Radeon RX 500 series, Windows 10 64-bit. And they have two drivers listed here for you to download. There's a minimal setup one, too, which that doesn't fucking work either. Um, unless, actually, 326, they might have fixed it. You might want to try that. Uh, and you might want to try this one, because that, apparently that's only like eight days ago, 326, so that could work for you. I'm not going to do that, because I don't want to deal with it if it doesn't work. Um, and 18.2.1 is ideally what you want to get to, because 3dmark.com um, or whatever won't let you upload your scores with their benchmarks, you know, and stuff like that, like Firestrike and TimeSpy. Um, if you don't have 18.2.1 installed. So, I try to download that. It doesn't work. Can't detect my shit either. Go over here, download previous drivers and software, and click that. And it gives you a list of all the other previous drivers that they've put out over the past. Um, your integrated graphics was running on 17.7, I believe. Um, and we're going to upgrade. We're going to get into the Adrenaline Edition drivers instead of Crimson Relive. So... None of these bitches have worked for the most part. Um, from Pretty much from 18.3.3 and the other one on the main screen, I'm not sure of, but all these ones don't work here. 18.1.1 is the newest one that I found to work and actually install onto my shit properly. So this might be the same for NVIDIA cards as well, too. If you're going through NVIDIA and you try to download the newest driver and it doesn't recognize your shit or can't install, it might be because of the, the Ryzen chip, you know, and, and the new motherboards and blah, 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 and whatever the fuck is the problem with these things. Um, so you might have to do this too. You might have to go and find the previous drivers like this and start, you know, downloading random ones, I guess, to figure out what the newest one is that works correctly. But if you install a whole bunch of shit and it doesn't work correctly, you need to uninstall that shit back off once you do find the right one. So you're going to have to do exactly what I told you in the beginning, uninstall the program, use DDU, blah, 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 and then download the right one. So we're going to do 18.1.1 because that is the newest one that I know works. And the key part to getting the full package to download 
um, is based on like the software that comes with it. So you would click download, you know, run it, blah, whatever, open it, save it to a folder. I have it saved already and I have it installed right now too. Um, downloads, nope, it's on my other hard drive, my other solid state drive. Downloads, it's right in here, 18.1.1. So once you download it and extract it and all that shit, you'll get this folder. So you go in here and you want to run the main setup and that's going to install most of everything. You know? So I'm going to click run as administrator. I already have this installed, so it's probably going to give me the option to like uninstall it. So I'm going to click accept and install. See, it recognizes I already have it pretty much installed on there, even though it doesn't say, you know, that it's the same point version. Trust me, it is. Um, so 18.1.1 is already installed on there. And it wants me to install these ones. I've tried to do it this way. They don't work. They don't work whatsoever. fucking ever. And honestly, I'm, it's kind of weird why it says that. Because if I open up MSI Afterburner, it should say 18.1.1. Yeah, see? It recognizes it as 18.1.1. So that's what I have. So if you click it, custom install. The main thing, see, mine's going to show differently because I already have one installed. Yours will list the AMD display driver, the audio driver, uh, the tr troubleshooting wizard or something like that. And then the big important one is the AMD... Radeon settings. That's the one that you absolutely have to get installed if you want to be able to, you know, change stuff, if you want to mine with this card and all that kind of stuff, which, uh, real quick, on the mining side, if you plan on mining with your card, you know, in the meantime, absolutely get these adrenaline drivers and not the blockchain drivers, because these adrenaline drivers crush those blockchain. I gained three and a half mega hashes a second um, with the adrenaline drivers, because the software allows you to switch your card from graphics processing power into compute processing power which runs a lot faster on ethereum so anyways you're going to click install leave everything you know clicked except for the bethesda launcher and install it and once it installs it might make you restart your computer it might not it just depends um, but i would recommend restarting it anyways after it's all done and then once you restart you will have uh, even before you restart you should have it but once you restart you have the radeon settings installed down here in the bottom so you go into your radeon settings you can try and click updates here. Shows that I'm currently at 18.1.1. And you can try to upgrade through here. It has never once worked for me. It always crashes and makes the Radeon settings, you know, un uh, close down and says it can't d detect your hardware, blah, blah. It fucking, it's stupid as shit. So, the cool thing about this, though, is you can set specific settings for each game. You can change, you know, um, a whole bunch of different things. What is real nice is in the global settings. Um, OpenGL triple buffering, if you're playing a game that's using OpenGL, that's a great thing to have on. Um, I didn't have it on because I just reinstalled all this stuff. But right here, GPU workload, you can change between graphics and compute. So if you plan on mining with your card, switch it over to compute, and you will gain quite a few mega hashes a second from that. Trust me. Um, also, BIOS mod your graphics card if you're going to mine with it. Um, most games I've tried play just fine. I'm changing my 1500 timing bootstraps all the way up. But anyways, back to gaming. So now that you have this installed, that's great. But 18.1.1 will not let you save benchmarks from 3D Mark and stuff like that onto um, their actual site. So what we need to do is get that 18.2.1 installed. Now, again, I have it installed in here. See my downloads on this SSD right here. If I do the same thing and I run the setup, it doesn't work. It says it can't detect drivers for, you know, my hardware, whatever the fuck it is. It's absolutely ridiculous. But I can force my display driver to take the display driver out of here because it's in packages, drivers, display. It's inside of there. So again, I'm going to uninstall this little fucked up driver. And I'm going to go into here and I'm going to update driver and you're going to click browse my computer for driver software. Click browse. And I pretty much have it already selected. So go into, you know, whatever hard drive it's saved on. It's in my downloads folder. Scroll down. That's the 18.2.1 right there. And then I pick the packages, drivers, and then display. And it's inside of there. I don't need to go any farther. It'll find it from from there from the display folder. So I click okay. And I click next. And it's automatically going to install that display driver right on top of the 18.1.1. So that at least 
3D Mark and Time Spy and all that kind of stuff will recognize the 18.2.1 driver and let me save my benchmarks onto the internet, which was important for me. Um, on that topic, I do currently have the f highest CPU score on, uh, what is it, Time Spy, the regular one. Obviously, I'm not running Extreme or anything like that. I've got the free version that you can download on Steam. Um, I have the highest 2400G uh, CPU score on Firestrike or Time Spy. I, I'm sorry, Time Spy. So if anybody else has their Ryzen 5 2400G overclocked up, you know, at 4 gigahertz, mine's at 4.1. Um, feel free, you know, download that free benchmarking stuff on Steam and get onto uh, Time Spy and see if you can get a better score than me. I'd love to see it. Definitely comment below if you do beat me. And let me know, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to come back. Um, I've only got about two more weeks with this chip, unfortunately. I'm going to be selling my Ryzen 5 2400G to my buddy um, because he wants to upgrade his PC. And I'm going to move up to the Ryzen uh, 5 2600 now that I have a graphics card and get that 6-core uh, beast going. So I can't wait for that. But as you saw, that installed perfectly. And now if I go into... MSI Afterburner, it should recognize the 18.2.1 that I just installed, and bye bye I'm driver version, 18.2.1. So if we do benchmarks, um, it will recognize it as well. So that's a great thing. So, um, real quick, I think I'm going to try and run a benchmark for you guys and show you the difference of what overclocking with MSI Afterburner can do um, if you plan on, you know, overclocking your card, which I highly recommend. There's no reason not to overclock your graphics card. You know, if you've got a decent sized case with some good airflow in it, overclock that bitch because you can get some drastically better scores, frames, and everything else um, with just a couple clicks of the button. And MSI Afterburner is super easy to use. I was very confused by all of this when I first started watching people using this, but um, for the most part, it, it's super stupid simple. And I'll go over here in just a second, but let's do, let's close everything else so that we're not overloading the CPU and shit like that. Um, what are we running at right now? I'm using up about 51% of my CPU. Ooh, I don't know how well that's going to do on a benchmark. Uh, so let's run an easy one real quick. I do have that OpenGL triple buffering on. So let's do the one that everybody loves, which is downloads Cinebench R15 and run as administrator. Yes. Close. So let's open Cinebench real quick. I'm going to leave everything at stock settings on my RX 570. It is an 8 gigabyte. So it's got plenty of memory for everything. And we're going to run OpenGL and see what happens. See what kind of score, see what kind of frames per second we get. And my MSI Afterburner is going to display here and kind of just show um, what's going on. At least I think it should be. I'm not sure if I have my OBS set up correctly. Uh, it's not even working, is it? Ooh, that took forever because of how much um, processing power OBS is eating up. Alright, here we go. So let's see what happens. So, getting around 60 frames per second. And it's dipping down. But I am using up 68% of my CPU right now, which is kind of crappy. Wow, why is, oh, see this is what I hate about Cinebench, is that it's not even recognizing, I wonder if it's just not displaying because I'm doing so many things, recording, do, running a benchmark, and fucking all that shit at the same time. Ooh, 52 frames per second was the average, so that's garbage, uh, but keep in mind I'm, I, I'm recording to my hard drive, I've got MSI going and all that kind of shit, and running a benchmark. So it's going to be way shittier than what you can actually expect to do if you weren't doing all this stuff. So, real quick, let's um, overclock. I'm going to try and jump up to what I usually can run this thing overclocked at, uh, with no issues whatsoever. So as you can see, my numbers kind of jumped, all my bars jumped. So here, oh, go back to, here is stock settings, core voltage, which is how much, you know, voltage you're pumping right into the core clock, uh, power limit, which is how much vo uh, wattage or you're allowing your card to pull, um, temp limit, you really don't fuck with, that'll go down if you turn your power limit down, 
Your core clock is what is usually the most drastic, of, has the most drastic of an effect on gaming, um, on graphics and stuff like that, on frames per second. And then the memory clock helps as well too. Now if you're going to use this for mining, it's the opposite. It's the memory clock that has the giant, the biggest effect on performance, and the core clock just minor performance you know, gains. So if I click my save profile, you can watch all these things jump. That's about as high as I know I can set everything safely without getting a bunch of crashes. Um, but that I've never done this while trying to record you know, what I'm doing to the hard drive at the same time. So we'll see how that goes. So let's min wait a minute, what's happening? What's happening? I can't. Why isn't it showing up on screen? Uh, why is it not recording? I don't, all I see is a black screen. What the shit? Sorry guys, hold on. Let me tinker with it for a second. What the fuck? I wonder if it's been doing this ever since I updated my display driver. Oh no, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You guys haven't been able to see anything since I updated my display driver, have you? Son of a bitch. Let me see, hold on. Son of a bitch, and it won't even let me add a new one on here. Fucking fuck. Well, let me see what's happening, and if I can just restart this and I'll make a part two to this video and I'll show you I'll go back over what I just missed sorry guys um, hit hit the like if I at least helped you somewhat but I'll, I'll be back with a part two because apparently it's not recording